Filthy Rich Bantegi from Nanko Bandai Games. What's happening? My name is Eris from AvoidingThePuddle.com. Yeah, so we're chilling here. We're in the SD Tekken room. We're at room 17AB on a mezzanine floor. Every year, SD Tekken with Mark Coolio, which everybody knows is Mark Man. Yo, but where are we, dude? We're Why'd at you relax? Comic Con. So we get right to it. So yes, we're at Comic Con, and uh, so this guy Why throws a huge event every year, and this is the 10th year celebration, and uh, we have a such tight community with like, such a tight relationship with this guy, and all of us at Namco Bandai Games want to do something a little big for all of them over here. And, Eris can fill you in, but we got a whole bunch more. I can talk a whole bunch, but I'm gonna let him talk just for a little bit. Well, the, um, to me, the important thing here is what you see behind us. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 is playable for the second time for Americans. First time was at E3. Uh, very limited number of uh, top-level players were able to play it at E3. Uh, but here we have a much larger group of players who are able to play it. Um, maybe like 20 or 30 like solid Tekken players. So it's really interesting seeing everyone collaborate and kind of test what's new about the game. Um, personally, I've gotten a lot of time to test things out and I, I'm really enjoying the game a lot. But uh, to me, the, the interesting thing is that it is a work in progress and I'm not sure exactly how far along it is, but I know there are builds that are newer than this one. And the thing that really interests me is kind of dissecting this game and seeing the thought process in, in what they change and why they change it. Because you know, as of right now, it doesn't really make much sense to strategize or base any strategies on anything in this game because it might change. But the thing that's really cool is when you see something in this game and you think, oh man, this this is this shit's kind of cheap, you know? And then some guy walks through your shot and yeah. it's like... <laughs> but anyway, so, so it's really interesting to see why they change it and how they change it. Because personally, I'm really into uh, balancing. I like balancing games and Namco is really good at doing that. I think they do it the best way possible, which is to hire a team of professional Tekken players onto the development staff, pay them salary, and not let them enter in tournaments, NetherRealm Studios, and that's the way you should do it. And the product will be a fantastic product that's well balanced, deep, and it's, it's just a great game overall. And I'm sure, you know, Rich has more to add to that. Shout outs to Mishima Star. Yeah, I don't know how to take it from there. So <laughs> I'll just walk through your shot. <laughs> so um, Eris pointed it out. So this is the second time that this game has made it anywhere in public here in the United States. It's a work in progress, and right now we're still in the development phases. But I think one of the most important things that we want to do from a community standpoint, and just for us as the Tekken Project team, is definitely have this game exposed to people who are interested about the game, people who are fans of other franchises and other games, and just really put it out there on the table, provide that opportunity for them to play. And the thing is, con, the con every year is crazy. You really yeah. need to take a break. And what better than to take a break and be able to play something that you never could. Yeah. So, but the game is sick. I mean, I'm trying to go ahead and just try to fill everybody in on what you could do in this game. Functionality-wise, I think this is the game that's going to bring players who are fans of Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. You could be playing freaking mag Magical Drop or Puzzle Fighter. This is the game to play. Never heard of because it. Because it taps in to that creative mindset of what you want to do as a player in any game. There are multiple strategies, and it's, like it's, it's an endless amount. And I think most of all, the thing that we're working on and trying to strengthen it out the most is the balance in the game. So Yeah, I like that. There's a ton of stuff. I mean, besides me trying to sell it, it's all about community, it's all about hype, it's all about getting this out to people who want to play it, and it's just trying to keep it real. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think everyone has to remember, you know, okay, he's trying to sell it, but I'm not selling anything. I think it's a great game, and I have, you know, I'm not getting paid for anything. Or anything. I just think it's a fantastic game, and I think a lot of people who try it out at first may be a little hesitant thinking, oh, it's kind of similar uh, to Tekken 6, but really there's a lot of untapped depth to the tag system, and there's a lot to uh, you know learn about this game. So I'm really excited. Plus, it's totally incomplete. And I just took all of uh, Rich's money. And uh, anyway, you know it's really incomplete, and you can look forward to a lot of changes being added. I know that for a fact. I don't know what's going to be changed, but a lot of system changes and a lot of stuff. Here's your money back. You're going to need it. I'm about to lose my job because he's <laughs> almost better at selling it than I am, but uh, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. We want everybody to get their hands on it. We got a bunch of free stuff to give out. This year, we're going all out, everything from taking these builds out here on the show floor, having a panel that's gonna be directed towards the community yeah. for any questions that they have for not only Tekken, but for Soul Calibur V. We're also bringing in Naruto out on the show floor and just really 
we want to expand out to the fighting game community, you know what I mean? Like, cool. I want to start talking about like option selects in a game like Naruto. Like, who knows? You never know, but we got to try it out. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. We can go on and on, but the event is hype. It's to celebrate SD Tekken and to just really show the unification of Namco Bandai games with the community. I, I can agree with and that. And I just want to beat everyone's ass. You're not going to beat me. While I have a lead, because I, I suck now. You're not going to beat me. You never could beat me. We played for countries yesterday and you right. lost. If you want to see, we I play, own the we'll Philippines play, right we'll now. We'll play for countries later on today. Uh, well, you got to win your country back first. I'm going to try to win them back. All right. So. All right. Well, yeah. Keep your guys on the game. It's it's a good game and it's going to get better from here on. Yeah, dude. I mean, if you're looking for any info, dude, follow me on Twitter. It's at Filthy Rich. I love Mark Rouse and Gutex. Good <laughs> friends of mine. I don't like them. And I don't like those guys. Yo, check it out Facebook, facebook.com slash Tekken, Tekken.com. We got a movie coming out on Tuesday. We want you guys to come out. Yo, if you want tickets, let me know. I can always try to squeeze them out. You want your boys to come check it out. We're filling up the Regal Cinema LA Live Theater. It's going to be hype. All right, let's tell them about my Twitter, too. I have one, too. No, no, it's all good. So anyways, Twitter.com slash Avoid the Puddle. See you later. And I like it when you mention me. I just found out what that's called. It's like when you put my name in it. Yeah, so mention me. All right, see yeah, you guys. Please.